morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Dan Hayes, um, and you are very welcome to our service of worship here at Kirkpatrick Memorial. I wonder how you're feeling this morning. Uh, I wonder what kind of a week that you've had. I find with the weather that we've experienced in these last days, the torrential rain, the grey skies that has absolutely confined us into our homes, has made lockdown seem all the more oppressive. And I, for one, have found that this has been a particularly difficult week. So I'm wondering, is there anybody out there at this stage who's starting to feel weary? Maybe even exhausted? I wonder, is anybody out there this morning beginning to feel those symptoms of stress and anxiety bubbling up uh, so that they are starting to come up and over the sides? I wonder, is anybody out there fed up with home church, struggling with it and just longing for the day when we can all be back and meeting together? I think it's okay to be honest. Uh, I think it's all right to say that we are finding this hard and that we wish things could be different. It's great to be welcoming Mark Welsh later on this morning. Uh, Mark, from our own congregation, will be sharing from the next passage of Matthew's Gospel. And part of the passage that we're going to read involves the call of Jesus' first disciples. Well, he was calling them into a busy life. He was calling them into a life where they were going to feel stressed, where they were going to be stretched, and at times they were going to be exhausted. But Jesus still wanted his disciples to find and to know rest, even in the midst of their busyness. This is what he had to say to them. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Friends, this morning Jesus promises you rest. In Jesus' day, a yoke is what farmers use to attach to their oxen, to keep them plying together, going at the same pace, travelling in the same direction. But surely this sounds like an added burden for us. Well, if I am yoked to the one who is gentle and humble, it will slow my pace to that of Jesus. It will keep me moving in the right direction. And I will find rest for my soul. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we welcome you this morning. And we invite you into our weariness. We invite you into our anxiousness. We invite you into our frustration. We invite you deeper. Teach us to walk at your pace. Lord Jesus, may we yield to your leading. Help us to step out of our anxious striving and in 
to your gentle yoke. May we walk with you. Watch how you do it. And learn from your unforced rhythms of grace. Spirit, draw near to us this morning. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honour to his name.